My name is Dr. Marlon McKay, and today I would like to be talking about uh, COVID-19, but with respect to vaccines, vaccinations, and everything around it. There are so many questions, so many stories, so many conspiracies. So let's try and break it down into a simple message and just keep it as truthful as possible so that you can understand everything around vaccines. So let's start right at the beginning. What is a vaccine and how does it work? Well, essentially, vaccines prevent diseases that can be dangerous and even deadly or fatal. And so they work with your body's natural defense system in order to generate protection from that particular disease. So what a vaccine does, it helps your body to produce antibodies so that when you are exposed to that particular disease, you then have protection without first having to get the disease. So vaccines are very, very powerful medicine. And unlike most other uh, um, medications, vaccines prevent. They do not cure, they do not treat, they merely prevent those particular illnesses. So the vaccines train, it's a harmless form of, the vi of that particular virus, and it trains your immune system to produce antibodies. In this case, the SARS-CoV-2 virus to prevent COVID-19. So they stimulate an immune response without causing Ill illness. And that's an important point. The vaccine cannot give you COVID, it prevents COVID. So it's a harmless form of the virus that is, that is given into you. And then it triggers a specific immune response so that you build up immune memory so that when you are exposed to COVID, it remembers it and is able to fight it off so that you do, don't have to get sick from COVID-19. A lot of people talk about, well, why would these vaccines, uh, why do they appear so quickly? Surely they cannot be safe. Well, let me tell you that these vaccines have gone through all the rigorous um, testing phases. We talk about phase one, where the vaccine is given to a few people, usually less than 100, where the question is answered, is the vaccine safe? And can it uh, do what it's designed to do? In other words, is it effective? Then in phase two, where there are several hundred volunteers, we look at the side effects. What are the most common side effects that we, that we come across? What is the body's immune response toward that particular vaccine? Phase three, these are thousands and thousands of volunteers, and we compare, usually with a placebo and with the vaccine, how does it work? And it's usually uh, um, taken place over different parts of the world, different countries, to see that you get the same response no matter where. And then phase four is where the vaccine has been approved, and then it can be, it can be rolled out. So when the vaccine arrived in South Africa, we are not the guinea pigs. It is not being tested on us. The vaccine has already gone through all those, all those testing phases. No shortcuts were taken. And, and so we can know and have peace of mind that when we are vaccinated, we are being vaccinated with something that has been tested and has been deemed to be safe as well as, as, well as effective. Now, the two different types of vaccines that we have is the, the Pfizer vaccine, which is an mRNA vaccine, and the J&J, &J, which is a viral vector vaccine. They work a little differently, but essentially both do the same thing. So, to, just to highlight again, it happened so fast because of the urgency of getting the, the drug and the vaccine to market, because so many people have been affected, uh, infected. And so money, much money was pumped into it. The vaccine platforms have already been there. Many thousands of volunteers came forward. And so it was easy to get the vaccine um, through the testing phases. Also manufacturers started making the vaccine while the testing was still going on. So by the time the vaccine was approved, stock was already available. And so it could be rolled out fairly quickly. So no shortcuts were taken. Now, let me go through some of the, 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 the myths or some of the questions that many people have. Can you get COVID-19 from the vaccine? Absolutely not. We are not giving you COVID-19 when you get vaccinated. All right, so you can't get sick from the vaccine. You can't get COVID. You can't even test positive. Now, for those who say, well, I got COVID soon after the vaccine, it was not from the vaccine. You probably got it from the queue or you already had COVID at the time that you presented for your vaccine. What about side effects? Everyone makes a big deal about the side effects. Yes, everything has side effects, from your normal paracetamol through to antibiotics. And so in the same way, vaccines can have side effects. But the side effects are usually mild. They are short term. They're not long lasting. You know, I've heard patients tell me, well, I would rather, uh, um, you know, why must I live with the side, e side effects of the, of the vaccine? You're not going to live with the side effects. They are of short term duration. And the most common side effect is usually the sore arm. 
and it's just because your body is building up those antibodies. Then you may have tiredness, fatigue is quite common, the chills, headache, a bit of fever, muscle aches and pains, you may want to lay down, but the, the, the side effects are usually just short term, do not last long. Why should you get the vaccine? Let me summarize it. It works. It is safe and effective. It protects you from serious illness, from hospitalization and death. It protects your family and your loved ones. You need to have it, especially if you have comorbidities. And by that, I mean obesity, hypertension, with or without diabetes. To build herd immunity so as many of us can be vaccinated so that we can have some sense of return to normalcy in our society. The vaccine is free. What a good reason to have it. And for me, very important, it's just the right thing to do as a South African. So in conclusion, as much as we want things to go back to normal, they probably won't, definitely not soon enough. So let's not waste this, and this, this uh, pandemic. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's take care of our, our colleagues, our family, our children, our parents, and our communities. Take care of yourself first. Make sure that you get vaccinated and encourage a culture of true wellness, be it spiritual, emotional, intellectual, and especially physical. But most importantly, and finally, let's all encourage a culture of vaccination. Let's vaccinate. Don't hesitate, vaccinate. Dr. McKay says, grab the jab. It's the best thing that you can do.